everybody what's going on welcome to episode 13 of the wealth journey series today we're going to jump right into my paycheck routine for the month of september so far i've been paid on the 15th of this month and the 22nd of this month one from youtube one from work plus i got a little holiday bonus on top of that so my paycheck routine is a little more exciting than usual today and y'all know how it goes with my paycheck routines i'm mainly talking about where i'm putting my money for growth for my business my own financial growth and for my savings. So as usual, before my paycheck even got taxed, $464.14 were put into my 401k. And my company does match 50 cents for every dollar I put in, so they contributed an additional $232.10 for a grand total of $696.24. And just so y'all can see real quick, I have my 401k on the screen. It is now worth $88,572.32. I'm really proud of how much that account has grown just over the short amount of time that I've had it, which has been about five and a half years now. But that's just as of today, which is the 23rd of September. So within about a week or so, when I give my net worth update, we'll see how much it's worth by then. So of course, after that, I went ahead and put $700 into my Roth IRA. I wanted to stick to the commitment that I made to myself at the beginning of the year. And that was to max out my Roth IRA before the year is out. And I'm well on track to do so. So also I have a screenshot up here of my Roth IRA account, which I do have with M1 Finance. And as we can see, it is now worth $19,614.65. Looking nice and about healthy. And I really like this type of investment because I have a lot more control of where my money's going into as opposed to my 401k, for example. And this what you just saw was spread across Apple, Microsoft, VOO, and VTI. Just in case you were curious, but I break that down more in my other Wealth Journey videos. And with another $500, I just automatically have it set up to where my checking account sends $500 right when I get paid over to my savings account. And I'm not talking about my emergency fund saving account, I'm talking about my regular savings account. And it gets me one step closer to my goal every single month and it also builds up a safety net. And when I say that, I mean this. Me personally, I've been moving money around a lot because I've been making more investments inside of my business, which I'll talk about here in a second. But just so you know, I've been moving my money around just a little bit. So if you see my net worth videos and you see that my cash is going down, but my investments are going up and you're wondering, wait a minute, where's all the cash going? It's being moved elsewhere right now. I've been reestablishing my goals, but we'll go over that here in a second. Let's go over this real quick. As y'all know, I have not touched my Webull account, which is my favorite account, by the way. I have not touched it at all this year until this month. After reflecting on my ways and reflecting on the bad financial decisions I was making last month, the month of August, my birthday month, I ate out way too much. I had way too much DoorDash. $799. I wouldn't say it was down the drain, but it was definitely not necessary. And I was like, man, I spent at least an average of an extra $400 over the past few months on DoorDash. So you know what I decided to do? I was like, you know what, I'm gonna cut myself off. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a $200 limit on DoorDash, which last month failed, I will admit. But I was like, you know what? Instead of just limiting myself to $200 in DoorDash, I'm gonna force myself to take that $400 and put it somewhere else and that somewhere else is Weeble. So what I decided to do was put $200 on my first paycheck into Weeble and then the next $200 I get on my next paycheck put on to Weeble. And as a matter of fact, we're about to look at my Weeble account right now. So here's a quick screenshot of my Weeble account. And as you can see, it is currently worth $31,796.62. It is currently up 125.36%. And it has gained a total of $17,687.01. And where did I put the $200? I bought 1.7 shares of NVIDIA. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know that is my highest performing investment right now within this specific portfolio. And it has earned me well over $10,000 this year alone. So I'm very happy to see that. So for me, that was just a no brainer. And if you're interested in my investing content, if the stuff that I'm talking about when it comes to investing intrigues you, I do have an investing course coming out. You can get some more information about that in the link in the description. And you can also download 25 high quality stocks and ETFs that I made personally for you down in the description as well. And today I got paid 
from YouTube and it was like triple what I usually get from YouTube, which was really nice to see. So what I've decided to dedicate that money to was do what I said I was gonna do in my last paycheck routine video and actually pad up my checking account and basically build a buffer because instead of focusing on getting $2,000 in my regular savings account and then building my emergency fund, I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to build a big buffer in my checking account, which I think this was exactly enough I needed to get it there. And then once I built that buffer in my checking account, then build the $2,000 in my regular savings account. And once that's built, then do the emergency fund. I was, at, um, for a moment this year, I was trying to do everything at once. I was trying to invest and save and build a buffer like all at the same time. And it obviously wasn't working out. And plus all the spending on DoorDash didn't really help with that. So just being transparent, I don't always have my life all together all the time. And even though personal finance is one of my strengths, I'm a big numbers guy, I always have been. But when it comes to your own personal thing, sometimes your personal feelings get in the way. And a feeling that has gotten in my way a lot this year has been the feeling of comfort and the feeling of wanting to have something convenient. So when I didn't feel like doing something, like I didn't feel like cooking, DoorDash was on its way, bringing me that good food from Chipotle, you hear me? But anyway, long story short, I have streamlined my decision making when it comes to saving, investing, and everything you can think of. And I'm just like, you know what? When I have a main goal, I'm gonna purely focus on that goal. And right now my top goals or maxing out my Roth IRA in a close second is building that buffer in my checking account and then getting my savings to where I want them to get to. Stay tuned for my net worth update. It's coming next week. I'm excited for it. But I didn't stop there. I am big on increasing income, but I'm even bigger on just becoming better as a businessman better at recording and making good relatable content that helps as many people as possible and just getting better at my craft in general so i did spend some money on some courses and when i say courses i mean i straight up bought 25 courses but get this for 71 dollars and i've bought a lot of courses in my day i done bought courses from 200 dollars 300 dollars 500 dollars 1200 dollars but a lot of courses now this one's at the top of the list and I'm learning a lot about things that I just don't know that much about, like growing my Instagram and, and just getting better with sales and talking to clients and best serving them, stuff like that, business strategy, stuff that I'm not really that great at right now when it comes to my own particular business. So I like investing in my education, always have. But another really exciting investment I have going on right now is I found a thumbnail creator who actually found me on Instagram and she's been making some fire thumbnails for me and my videos have been getting more views as a result of that. So I did spend $120 for all of my thumbnails for this month in advance. So I've been looking into outsourcing certain things when it comes to this channel and that is one of them. For one, I'm nowhere near the level of a professional when it comes to creating thumbnails. I do okay, but the thumbnails she's been making have been looking amazing, so I shall keep investing in said thumbnails. And I've noticed it brings forth a bigger and more diverse set of eyes coming to this channel, which is very good to see. So in a nutshell, when I'm doing my paycheck routine videos, I'm just giving you a quick look into my world, what my priorities are, what I'm thinking, what my goals are. And right now I'm focused on my financial goals, my business goals, which, you know, you got to keep feeding the business. So a lot of times I'm putting my personal earnings directly into the business and the business might grow or it might be stagnant. But one thing that is happening, no matter what, I'm growing. And as long as I'm growing, the business will continue to move forward. The YouTube channel will continue to move forward. I will continue to bring on clients on my coaching calls. If you're interested in that, there's information down in the description. I'm continuing to build my investing course. And as some of y'all may know, I actually did a trial period of doing my investment course last year. I did it last year as well as the beginning of this year, but I wanted to do something where it's a fully comprehensive course that you can just buy right now and it's on your screen and you have everything you need right then and there. When I did the trial run and everything, it was 
me and another person on a one-on-one -on -one call for each client that I had that was how it was. And there was nothing wrong with that, but I just wanted to build something more sustainable. So just so y'all know what's coming, I've been putting a lot of time and energy and effort into building this course and also investing into this channel and making sure that my videos are higher quality and that my videos flow better. And, I, and they do tend to flow better the more time I spend in front of this camera. And of course, making sure that I'm making responsible financial decisions so I can set a fine example for a great audience such as yourself. But I'm also here to hold myself accountable by telling you, hey, I did something really stupid last month. This is what I did, this is how much money I spent, and this is why it's a bad idea to do. So over here, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know if you did something wrong, if I did something wrong, we all gonna do wrong over here. But the thing is, we're all gonna learn from our mistakes. And if you haven't made any mistakes yet, you can learn from my mistakes, but you can also learn from my victories. But anyway, that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryans and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and I will see you in the next video.